This video is brought to you by Liquid IV and Harry's. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation. <laughs> we dubbed this woman Scream Queen, and then we didn't do any horror movies after that for so long. What happened? I screamed too much? You screamed too much, and I said nothing's going to top Orphan First Kill. But maybe Thanksgiving will do the job. Roxy Stryer, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be back in the horror verse. I am excited for you to jump back into the horror verse as well. <laughs> ah, there it is. There it is, running the eardrums. You're welcome. I was telling Roxy beforehand, and she said I should tell everyone, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, so this is cool. I think this is what it is, if I'm not mistaken. She reminded me Eli Roth directed this. Is that there's a movie? Because he went to my high school. Because Eli Roth went to her high school, and that's how this movie came to be. Yes. That's the fun fact for the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's that the Grindhouse movie, double feature Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez. Yes, in between those movies, there was these fake trailers they made. One of them was Machete, which got adapted to a movie. And another one was Thanksgiving, which Eli Roth made. And now here we are in 2023, and now there's this movie. I don't know if it's supposed to resemble that. I don't even remember that trailer. So I just think it's cool that after like 20 years or whatever, I don't know how long it's been. That's the most interesting fact that a movie could be made off of a fake trailer. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. It's gotten like surprisingly decent reviews. Are you or are you not pro-Pilgrim? I am pro-Pilgrim. Canceled. No, not pro pilgrim. <laughs> What's a pilgrim? The ones that came and took out the Wampanoags and <laughs> Thanksgiving, you know. See, I was setting you up to so people know she does know history. <laughs> <laughs> well, I grew up in Massachusetts. Back. It's the only thing we do now. Leave a like, people. <laughs> Give thanks to the like button. Subscribe. Click the notification bell. I didn't know what a pilgrim is. I want everyone to know. I got to clarify the sarcasm. Now I'm paranoid because of after the conversation. we. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fred, thank you so much for helping us edit down these highlights. This is a hard R, apparently. So, you two, it is all fake, all right? It's telling you right now. All fake. Full length reaction watch along. We sync up with your own copy of Thanksgiving. That's available for our super sexies over at our Patreon page. Over there, we cover several things exclusively with highlights, watch longs included. Rock Stryer, uh, you ready? Is that jacket hot on you? Is it warm? I feel like it's warm. It is warm and I'm itchy. Yep. That is in her dating bio. <laughs> it's warm and I'm itchy. <laughs> it's warm and itchy. <laughs>
In the front. Do you know who that is? The TikTok star? Oh, no way. <laughs> I need a new phone. Mine got f***ing smashed in the fight. I thought we were going to the movies. Yeah, we are. How am I going to text her in the movie without a phone? Who are you texting? Oh, good question. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> that was funny. That was a good moment. I love the energy to this movie. Bobby, Bobby, we have to move. Yeah, yeah, one second, one second. Bobby Goldmar, yeah, all-time record holder <laughs> for strikeouts at Plymouth Eve. A local celeb. What are you doing Saturday night? Going in cap with Bobby. All right, well, uh, excuse me. I'm having a little get-together with my friends. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I can't. Bobby's only in town till Monday. You should just swing by early. We could, like, play some drinking games, have a good time. You know, I got some kegs. She's all set, Ryan. Come on. Let's go. Shouldn't be grabbing her hand and all that, man. He's just trying to take her through safely. Chill out. He's just helping. <laughs> <laughs> Face it. As long as Golden Arms around your toast. Scott. Burnt. Scott. Toast. Shut up, Scott. Scott. <laughs> it's like a good comedy rhythm to this. This is insane. Yeah. Let's go in the back. Okay. This is not a good advertisement for Boston. This is 100% accurate. Hey, yo, we got some unfinished business. Look, that's the guy from Hanover I punched. You suck, suck my. Yo, where's your mom at? You grandma, cousin, you second cousin, you dog. I don't even know what they're saying, honestly. It was perfectly clear. <laughs> your mom, your cousin, your second cousin, and your dog. Okay, yeah, I missed that. How'd you miss that? <laughs> your mom, your cousin, your second cousin, your dog. Hey, babe, what are you doing here? I came in with Eric. I didn't want you to starve on Thanksgiving. Yeah, uh, yeah in fact, you should probably wait in here, okay? Yeah, yeah. We should be go. careful. What was that for a long look? Evan! Movies. We can take anything you want. Evan! Scuba. This girl in the brown suede has really got my attention. Just, uh, she's very, um, captivating. What? Are they get in that box? It's bullshit! They're getting tips and all the good shit! What the hell are you doing? You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, that is so messed up. Just push back and Lock it up now. Guys, I like how there's a horror to this, to the, the rush of Black Friday. It is it, insane it, they, they at home. All, they always make it like a, a comedy and stuff, but there's like the actual tension to this. Hey, 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 Look, don't open that. everyone. We need to talk immediately. Start shooting the crowd. <laughs> People die getting trampled on Black Friday. Yeah. Dude, what is happening? To ah! For the waffle iron? Open the door. They're going to get pushed. Oh, open it. You have to open the door. You have to get the bitch. Oh, hey, <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite kind of humor, honestly. <laughs> like this horror comedy vibe. It's really funny, man. <laughs> Oh no! Oh <laughs> god! Oh shit! Okay, this isn't accurate anymore, just so you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! No one's gonna buy anything. This is crazy! Gabby, in! Jesus Christ! Oh no, oh no. Insane! He's getting killed, man! No! Fine, save it! Is he gonna die? Oh shit! Oh shit! This is like a key and peel sketch. He <laughs> cut the waffle iron! <laughs> Oh, I love him. I mean, if he gets trampled, she gets trampled. Hey, hey, I'm coming. Hey, Bobby. Hey. Oh, he's a star athlete. No more. <laughs> if Jingle All the Way was a horror movie. Where's your Christmas dirt? Oh my god. Oh my god, her scalp's gonna get pulled off. Oh my god, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. That was disgusting. <laughs> oh 
Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! It's time to start shooting some people. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's got that grindhouse flavor. Yeah. Right? Okay, you guys have my attention. I think we're in for another horror movie where Greg and Roxy have two very different responses. <laughs> Damn, look at those views. <laughs> no waffles for this bitch. Rest in peace. No arrests. Wow. I mean, who do you blame? A lot of people. Yeah, but, but they all get arrested. Wright Mart owner has worked overtime since last year to give back to the community and even going so far as to start the Wright Family Foundation, sending local kids to college. But many say it's not enough. Nope. Local pitching phenom Bobby DeStasi suffered a career-ending injury and has not been heard from since the accident. They want us to think he's going to be the killer. But the security cameras somehow weren't working the night of the tragedy. All I know is that the cameras were functioning perfectly fine when I arrived. Then they mysteriously stopped working the one night there's an actual disaster at the store. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. What a fascinating setup that a Black Friday disaster catches a pall over this whole town. Good morning, Sheriff. Welcome. And here you are. <laughs> it's John Carver. What kid wouldn't want to wear that, right? Get used to it. Everybody's going to be wearing them. Oh, that's creepy as hell. Yeah, I can get used to it. Why'd you say it like that? No, no, no. That really long pause there. Yeah. Somebody keeps tagging me in the video. I'm trying to report it. Yeah, but people keep reposting it. I thought we were past this. Yeah, so did I. This. I'm going back to the axe pit. It's safer there. <laughs> I'm making my grandmother stuffing. Her secret ingredient was a touch of eggplant. Hey, Jessica. Hey. So you ready for your big moment in the line? I'm not even from Boston. I'm like, fuck, suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he's got it. I can't believe this. He's really good at playing rich, sleazy guys. What's going on? Gotta see this. The art design of this movie is really strong. Like the way the colors are done. The whole commercial's ruined. I've been screaming at everybody the whole morning. Okay, guys, back up. I gotta call this in. Yeah, historical landmark has been trashed. What? Yeah, whatever that. <laughs> My commercial's ruined. You look relieved. I'm tired of pretending like everything's normal when it's not. Yep. I want things to go back to normal, too. That's why this year's going to be everything last year was supposed to be. Dad. Can't redo the past. You have to move forward. Having another sale, yep. like nothing happened, doesn't change anything. It just ignores it. Tell him. It's giving parent trap. Yeah, that is the thing I was thinking. Parent trap. That's what Eli Roth was going for. <laughs> oh, just the relationship with the dad and the wife. You guys want tickets to the McCarty party? Let me know if you guys want tickets. They're selling out quick. How about you finish my f***ing history paper, and then we'll talk tickets. Sure. I think all these actors are on the right pitch for the energy. So like Eli Roth tends to have this like over-the-top acting, but I, I think it's so strong for the I mean, energy of this whole film. And casting TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I can't write papers and play football at the same time. Are you kidding? It's Bobby. I really like this girl. I really like her. She's more subdued than everyone else, too. But there's like a surrealist quality to the way it's all done. Table is set. This is weird. I know it's it's a fake. He has no followers. It's like always Lola. Great movie. Can you at least try and seem like you're not? A Ryan's fine. He just he's harmless, like an NPC. But <laughs> like an NPC. What is that? Non-playable character. Oh oh. oh, oh. <laughs> it's like a robot. Looks like a robot. Looks like a robot. Yay! Oh. oh, he's got a button down. You finish your paper. Oh, barely. I just started another one today, and I got. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna be swamped until Christmas. Let's just say that. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's crazy. Uh, so, what, what are you guys doing for the Pat Steelers game? Good question. Probably watching on my place. You could watch it with me on the 50-yard line. At Gillette. I like this guy. I got yeah. You need the friend's approval. <laughs> Oh, this is clever. He's going to go after. Oh, that is smart. What an interesting setup. What, like, that he's going after the people that were there? Yeah, like that. He's going to take revenge. You think he has all him. the, 
he stole all the footage, and that's why it's all he, gone. I think they tried to bury the footage, and he managed to hack it. You think it's it. the X with the arm? I don't think it's the X. I don't want her to die because she has the best accent in the movie. Sure, just put it on. And that's how a pandemic happened. <laughs> the pandemic came from Plymouth. <laughs> <laughs> you see him in the background? Yeah, uh, through the window. She's going to need first aid. Wow. Oh. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh, he's really going for it. Ooh. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting, truly. <laughs> Oh, that was gross. Uh, I should have just had you watch Sing 2 with John. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dark comedy, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's so messed up. Space not rocked. Recognized. Oh, why would you open it? That's dumb. That's dumb kid shit. Don't do that. No, you got to be kidding me, bro. That was so funny. You had your phone in the other room. You got to be kidding me. What is she? What's her plan here? Spooky. This is so stupid. It's a slasher movie. They're idiots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So over the top. When it came down, it <laughs> yeah. sliced her body in half. <laughs> it's so over the top. It's so funny. Cover that body. Cover that up. You hang her. Hell yeah. Good for you, man. Breed. The consequences. <laughs> yeah, it's got that pulp. It's like very grind that B movie pulp. It's like modern day, but the violence is so pulpy. What were you doing? Well, I had two essays to write. Uh, I'll hook you up next week. You said that last month. Yeah, Miss Byers better eat this shit up, okay? Trust me, Evan. She couldn't have written it better herself. Okay. Where do I know this douchebag from? I don't know. I don't recognize him, I don't think. Guys, John Carver tagged us again. Look. Oh, my God. These seats are for us. Our names are at the table. Uh, Cameras at right mark caught the same guy lowering her legs onto the sign from the roof. It's just like you said, Sheriff. Everyone in town's wearing them. It's an amalgamation of like Halloween and Scream. I was I'm getting major <laughs> Scream vibes, actually. He's hiring additional security, but not closing the store. Did your dad not see this guy tagged us? I'm asking him right now. Scuba, don't. don't. I'm gonna send that motherfucker a DM. Don't Come slide get me, bitch. Scuba, Scuba, Scuba me, bitch. please just hold off, okay? You don't want that guy in the group. Them all walking in a straight line. <laughs> yeah, man. You guys don't do that in Boston? Mm. When you're teens? Are you crazy, McCarty? Come on, princess. That wouldn't hit you. I just thought, you know, in light of the current situation, he might want a little protection. McCarty, only you'd have the balls to sell guns at a high school. I should kick your ass right here. <laughs> Everyone gets a gun. Problem solved. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Scooby Snacks. Scooby Snacks. I wouldn't sell guns to kids. I'm selling alcohol. <laughs> I could really use your help, Jessica. We've exhausted pretty much every resource to identify people, but anyone involved with that night could be in serious danger. I knew I shouldn't have let them in the store. They were the kids taunting, yeah. If you know something, anything that can help us with the information on that night, I promise I'll keep it between us because this is a matter of life and death. I'm having a very difficult time with the accents in this movie. <laughs> I can't lie to you. Because <laughs> some of them do, some of them don't. Saw you at the cap yesterday. No, I got in this morning. You working for your uncle again? I'm helping out while I'm in town. Let's see that hand. Hey, just wait. I'm sorry. Can I walk with you? I really like her, Greg. Yeah, she's got a great energy. You were off social media. You deleted every trace of yourself. I ghosted everybody. Yeah, but I'm not everybody. Yeah, was... come on. Yeah, that's so different, bro. He's shorter than her. That's my observation. Great job, bro. <laughs> Unbelievable <laughs> comment. I mean, rehab's going great, so might get back up to full speed pitching again. Golden there arm. There you go. Yeah. No. He's going to live. He's definitely going to live. What? <laughs> He's going to live through this movie. Oh, through the whole movie. Yeah. What is it? No, I'm still your friend. You can trust me. You're not her friend. She can't trust you. After the trampling, 
Kathleen was in a panic, ranting about bad publicity and getting sued, and she went into the security room and deleted all the footage. That's a very important information. Look, there's a backup system at my house in my dad's office. Jess, that, that's probably long gone. No, it stores the footage for a year. They are an exact <laughs> time crunch right now. <laughs> but what do you want to do? I want to see what's on it. Well, you need that information to save everyone's lives. Yep. Purge! Oh, God, that actually got me. <laughs> Hi. Oh. How you doing? Oh, Hi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Awkward. how things have changed in the past year. How you doing, Bobby? Well, I'm sorry to break up this reunion, but uh, Bobby, could I see you in my office? This is new. Yep, mm. lots changed since you left. <sighs> While I'm liking the voice and personality of the movie a lot, yeah. I'm not super into any character yet. I like the main girl. The main girl is just carrying it for me. I love yeah. her. Yeah. I don't know what is doing it for me, just her presence. Yeah. I'm having a lot of fun with this, regardless. I think it's really fun. I think it's probably because a lot of the characters are super similar to one another. Like, we're not getting a ton of variety there. Hey, buddy. Daddy's going on a little vacation. What's this guy's name? Chris Farley. Kind of. Because <laughs> yeah. that cat better not die. Yeah, man, I see you. I got a flight. I'll be there in a minute. What is he seeing? Uh, I have, I don't know. Passport. He's missing his passport. I see, I see. Yeah. Somebody took it. So he's dead in the next 10 seconds? Maybe. No, behind the door. No. Killed the cat? Oh my oh. God. You didn't want to see a cat death. How does this guy move around so stealthily? That is a question for every slasher movie. <laughs> Show yourself! Okay, that's gonna work. I'm a security guard. I kill people every fucking day! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's helpful. I kill security guard. I kill people. <laughs> Let's go! It's like, what are you doing? Maybe man? under the table? Dewey. Dewey, where is he? Dewey. Just like scream. Go! <laughs> oh. Is he, was he under the table? Ooh. Oh, I'm off with your head. There it is. Dance, <laughs> dance till you're dead. It's like a professional martial artist. Dewey's probably scarred for life. Oh. Beat the cat. Show that you're not all that bad. <laughs> I'm on this guy's side. He's taking care of these greedy Bostonians and feeding the cats. He saved the cat, literally. You know, the cat could also feed off the human body, too, for a while. Whoa. Let's see the end game here. He's putting all their heads on the table, serving them for Thanksgiving. To whom? Well, just as payback for what they did. <sighs> I wonder why he's choosing these select people, though. Because they're the ones that he saw the footage. He deems as the violent ones. He spent a considerable amount of time and energy setting this up, but none of this works unless he has a private location where he's taking the victims. Instagram shouldn't allow those photos. He's taking the picture and then uploading it from another location. He probably is sponsored by ExpressVPN. <laughs> We're searching every inch of it. I... Find the through line. Yeah, there's got to be something specific about these people. Ooh. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. After mom died, the only thing that I could do to survive was work. But work doesn't fill the void. Whoa, he's becoming human. So when I met Kathleen, I felt alive again. I was willing to just overlook all flaws, and it might have been at your expense. Self-awareness. And I just want to say, I'm sorry. Wow, that's a turn. That's an unexpected turn. He goes to our school. He's always the turkey in the parade. He's the one who started the riot. I think his name is Larry or Lonnie or, or something. You see, his name is New Lon, like Newton, but yeah. New Lon, because that's where Eli's from. Uh, okay, that's going to be well. There's one more. That's Ryan Baker. <laughs> Jessica, did Ryan ever mention to you that he knew Doug? Because that certainly wasn't in his statement. No. I did not be anything to him. Oh, shit. Be careful who you trust. Oh, my God. One more thing. I'll take care of Ryan two days. You're not taking care of anything. He just said it could be nothing. All right, fine, Jess. If I see Ryan, I'll act like nothing's weird. You disappeared for a year and now you're pissed. 
I mean, everyone's on edge right now, man. But she could have been in trouble, and he left. Mr. Fletcher. The piece that I have written uh, is titled The Wampanoag and the Native American Side of Thanksgiving. They're doing it. He's going to Let's see if he does a good job. Today, Thanksgiving is one of our nation's favorite holidays. It's yes, it does. Thanksgiving is a day of mourning. Yes. Tell him. That was beautiful, Evan. Obviously didn't write it. I enjoyed hearing you read it. <laughs> as much as I enjoyed writing it for my blog. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good revenge tactic. Yeah, he hadn't been getting paid. If it makes you feel any better, you'll probably be killed before you get suspended for plagiarism. Scuba, don't even joke about that. Yeah, my bad, you're right. Plagiarism serious. <laughs> Their timing is good. I never bought Ryan's Mr. Perfect routine. Yeah, I mean, how would he know a random security guard and why would he not tell anybody? Well, they're playing with lopped off heads right now. I don't, I wait for a second, it was Ryan. It doesn't make sense, he's too nice. Okay, let's not be naive here. I mean, the nicest guys are the most psycho. They're just better at hiding it. Okay, Addison, right? She would know, probably. I am excluding Bobby. Well, Bobby would never. I told you he was doing great. No, you told us he told you he was doing great. That's different than he's doing great. Totally, yeah. Why would you trust Bobby right now? And he drives a van. The official transportation choice files, kidnappers, yep, murders. Yep, you're right, you're right. right. Like Coach Engel says, best defense is a good offense. There <laughs> are a lot of people here. We let the police handle it, we're all going to end up 50% off. It's an interesting I, way of phrasing it. I don't know who, it, who is it. it is. I can't figure it out. I feel like it's too obvious if it's, if it's the ex-boyfriend. No, more sus of him than the ex. I'm pretty sure he's about to die. This fits. You're on the right, Martin Mayflower? Yep. Yeah, that's fair. I don't think this early on, but maybe. Because we're only halfway through. You in the parade now? Yeah, just asked me. A lot has changed since you left. Yeah, maybe not as much as you think. I just mean that I'm helping with the parade again. You know, if you weren't leaving in a few days, I would knock your teeth out. Why? Who says I'm leaving? Ooh, and I get it. They're both in love with the it girl of all it girls. go. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy, but he's gonna end up dead for sure. That's the handover dude with the black eye. Nice, nice, nice form there. Good shit. Ooh. Oh yeah. Listen, you guys keep going, okay? Neil Burpee's after this, all right? You're in charge. I feel like a voice like that would motivate me in the gym. Yeah, he's awesome. This guy deserves the part. Where the fuck are we going? But he's going to be dead very soon. I guess she is too. Collateral damage. We haven't suspected a woman being the killer yet. Yeah, that's true. But why would she be the killer? I don't think they're going to reveal who the killer is for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm crazy, you know that? Oh my god, they're gonna do the thing from the trailer. I remember the trailer now. I don't now. know. I don't know. Don't tell me. Okay. I don't know if I want to watch. <laughs> really? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Is that the thing? Here we go! If I'm not mistaken, I think she actually like falls on it in the trailer. <laughs> Wonder Boss! Makati, what the f are you doing? <laughs> God, I hate those things. I can't even smell the powder. Jess, you should go home. It's weird to say, but I think like the voice of the movie is a character in and of itself. And I think that's my favorite character. Yeah, what? the people missing were at the right map. You stay together, or at least in Paris, okay? Adia. This girl's a star, I'm telling you. She won an Oscar. She looks a lot like Melissa Barrera, too. Hey, I can leave you guys. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go back together, okay? We'll be right back. Yeah, we don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be young and in love, as opposed to old and alone. <laughs> there, there. Cries in the corner. <laughs> That's weird. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Great shot. Good shot. Yeah. <laughs> Good shot. Editing is solid in this. 
like when they choose because uh, you're not locked into anyone's one perspective in this film. I wonder what high school they shot this at. Gabby! Listen to the warning signs. Oh no. I mean, she should be spared because she uh, she was doing the right thing. I mean, even though she, she suffers the ultimate consequence, though, for letting them in. Yeah, but maybe don't keep walking towards it. Oh, he's behind her. No, no. <laughs> Never mind. He wants her. <laughs> you were like, she should be spared. Don't <laughs> yeah. I forgot that she was the one who let them in. <laughs> slasher who charges at you he's athletic i mean we did talk about it being a woman but the build is just i'm not trying to be sexist but i just don't feel that way cosmetology in the school should be a class yeah i have no idea who this killer is What a fun set. She gets to hide like E.T. It's not the decision I would have made, but... If you were posed like that, would you open your eyes or close your eyes? Open. Wait, no, close. Yeah, that's stupid. You have to blend in. Your eyes are open. Close your eyes. What is she up. grabbing? What is it? No, no. You gotta hear that. You gotta hear that. Is it scissors? <laughs> then he just starts hitting the heads. Please help! Does that mean she made it out? Yeah, she must have. That's what that cut is. They're locking off the school. Okay, just think. It's about the details. Small mistakes. That's how they get caught. No so way it's the... Patrick Dempsey, is it? What? No way it's I Patrick Dempsey. I said it's Patrick Dempsey. McDreamy at the start. Yeah, that's Patrick Dempsey. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying oh, that's killer. It. <laughs> It's okay. Thanks. It's my girlfriend. Jess. It just seems like it's too obvious if it's one of these two guys. I know. It can't be Patrick Dempsey because we saw him outside while that was happening inside. But he could have gone inside. They didn't intercut. <laughs> okay, you want to tell us about your little buddy, the security guard? I was just growing up with him because I needed another hookup. Adderall? Yes, Adderall. That is what smart kids do so we can get into Ivy League schools and guys like you can tell our portions. Dude. I can't believe you two, my friends, be dead, and you can't put your bullshit aside. I don't want to see either of you. That's fair. I love her. Okay, get out. Just, yeah, get, get out. out of the outside. Get I out. Th I think it's Patrick Dempsey. No, because we saw him outside in that shot. Yulia, come. I, Papa, what the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. Okay. The in the Mercedes. In the Mercedes. <laughs> He's just taking her to Florida? I don't know. That's about as much of a conversation I've ever had with the guy. <laughs> like, what? Well, uh, anyway. Evan's right. The police ain't doing shit. Let's go. Where are we going? I think Patrick Dempsey would have motive. And then getting the security camera footage, would see more of that would, it would uh, I don't know. I, th I feel like the opening scene, he's, he's, when Gina Gershon died. I think like, it's more likely it's her stepmom or her dad. Really? <laughs> Patrick Dempsey, we saw outside in that one shot. She turns. She's looking whether she should go to the police and then Sometimes looks back inside. It could be two of life. them. It could be him. It could be two. Two killers. Welcome to the Death Star. This is where the magic happens. If you get caught with any of this shit, you're on your own. Wow, he's selling guns. Oh. What about this? That's mainly for taking down angry grizzlies in the Alaskan wilderness or brain-eating zombies in a post-apocalyptic America. I like how it's in a guitar case, like yeah, El Mariachi. And like the way that it's shaped. Like, <laughs> he spent a lot of time on that. McCarty, do you have any human-sized guns? Maybe. <sighs> Death Wish 3. He directed the Death Wish remake. The SIG 226. You'll want to use this. Keep the safety on. What about you, right, Mott? Fired a musket once and almost killed me? Yeah, those things. Yeah, those things. <laughs> Check this out. Element of surprise, huh? Pull it out of your belt and you stab him right in the gut. We got all sorts of tactical shit. It's yours if you want it. I'm, I'm good. Scuba will be with me in his arms. I would just hold on. Why yeah, that you, seems like the best of all like the options. That sounds like a great idea. That will come back into play at some point, I think. I mean, she's not taking it, though. Yeah, but maybe, I don't know. Be careful out there, huh? Keep yourself alive long enough to return that thing. 
I don't know what you think you're going to do with it. I liked him. I know. It's a good Republican. If you really want someone to come and help, I'm sure my dad can, like, call the sheriff's department and send a cop over. There's one here right now. Hey, can I come by? Oh, she's dead. It's a great photo of her. <laughs> oh, she's dead right now. Oh, no. What are you? Enjoy. Thank you. Are you sure? Eat it. We're going to Florida. Oh, no. He's about to be dead. When's the uh, no, he's gonna remodel oh, my God, you're right. Wow, you're right. 100%. <laughs> Whoa, this guy uses everything. You can tell because went upstairs and then this way, so uh, he's going to use that corn on the cob skewer, too. I'm not used to a serial killer using it. Yeah. And a slasher using a gun. I mean, that does give more merit to your thought that it could be more than one person. Dad? There was that speech from the, the other dad that was like, you know, when I lost your mom, I just wanted to feel or whatever. Hmm. Dad? He could be blaming these people for what ruined his business. Dad! <laughs> Jesus, Dad! What the hell? He's about to die. Oh, no. What the hell? What if this dad ends up being a badass? Oh, never mind. Dad. Thought he was going to be a badass for a second. What was he hit with just now? A dart. Maybe a sleeping dart. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> it was so cool. Dad's like freaking out at me right so now. So subtle. Oh, my God. They're going to see. Oh, my God. Like no, not the Q-tip. No. I don't want to look. No, no. Screw you. Screw you. Not the Q-tip. Not the Q-tip. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I knew the corn of the cobs. I knew the corn of the cob ones. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my God. Good for you. Because you didn't get that out. Is that good for you? Good for you to get it out. <laughs> I would have just. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to hear again. <laughs> Daddy, where are you? <laughs> no, no. Some unique kills. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow, they're charging head on into action. Whoa. Addison. Where are they? What do I do? I don't know. I don't know. There's got to be two of them because there's a camera on them, too. Yeah. No. <laughs> Oh good. Oh good. What do I what do I do, Jess? Uh, put it put it back in. <laughs> Not what do I do, Jess? <laughs> what do what do, what what do, do I, I what do I do, Jess? I think I know what the actor was going for. Yeah, me too, me too, me too. It's spread a little different. <laughs> yeah. He's going for shock. Give me a couple of seconds. I just think we're all in agreement that we're not going to be participating in the parade. He seems too heavy. Well, I know I'm not going. It's too dangerous. Patrick Dempsey has yeah, the build. Yeah, but she... And it's not dangerous for Gabby and Evan? This woman. This parade is our chance to catch him. If we hide... It's them too. Could be. But we saw the cops outside. That's what I'm confused about. That one shot. But I think the cop put the mask on to be able to tell the audience, like, he's the killer. <laughs> I'm closing the store. Thanksgiving's a holiday, even for us. Wait, honey, what? I think it's the right thing to do. I made a decision. It's final. Okay, daddy. When the float returns to the warehouse, we can make it look like it's empty. Make him think there's an opportunity to strike. And if he takes the bait, it'll be over right there and then. The bait? Mm. Tomorrow, John Carver is going to go down. I don't know. If we just spend, like, not that much time with Patrick Dempsey unless he's with the other characters. You know what I mean? But he would have a personal motive. Yeah, it's just that shot that I saw. He was there, and she looked out, or at least it looked like that. Oh. Ah, uh, they're trying to mislead us. They wouldn't reveal like that. That would have been a wild way to reveal. I want two people up here to keep an eye on that. Over here as well. I gotta know what this one girl's name is. When you get back here, this place is gonna look empty, but I'm gonna be here, and this whole place will be crawling with officers, okay? Yep. Thank you, Sheriff. You're welcome. You ready? No. Good. Me neither. Let's do this. Where are her boyfriends been? Jess. They, they're ignoring her. Uh. She's telling him to go away. It's my dad's ring for my rack. He said he kept him alive. If you want, wear it for good luck. All right. Maybe it will come in handy. Is Eli Roth dating this woman now? He dates his lead women. <laughs> I don't know, but she is 
I'm like in love with her. Let me see if I recognize anything here. Let me see the town. Show me Sam Diego's. Good use of sound design. I really like the way this is shot. This feels very overwhelming. Yeah, it's a fraught paranoia to it all. There are many John Carvers in the street. <laughs> Thanksgiving, not thanks buying. What the hell is going on down there? It's Mitch. Get off the Get off! The killer would make sure to keep wearing that mask. I think they should have asked the town not to wear that mask. You have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Whoa. Whoa. Never mind. That totally went against everything I said in one second. <laughs> oh, first it was Black Friday. Now it's the parade. Oh, my God. Are the boyfriends working together? That's the other theory, right? And they're pretending that they hate each other? Oh, my God. It's both boyfriends. <laughs> but they were, like, antagonistic towards each other when no one else was around. For fun, because they think it's sexy. But I don't know what the motive behind that would be. They're... I mean, the boyfriend makes sense to have the motive, but the, the one who went away for a year? Oh. He's basting her. Oh, yummy. This movie's making me hungry. <laughs> Is that how you feel right now? Because <laughs> same. Nothing tastes as good as skinny feels, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, Salter in her eyes. I mean, this is a king for a lot of people. You think he's going to put her in the oven? Yes. Okay, that's not Patrick Dempsey. It could be the other cop. I think it could be both in. Oh, cool. I mean, she can't have gone far. A rake and a hoe and a piece of soil ground. Inch by inch. The other one's going to pull her out or something. How did she... She's the killer. <laughs> I was watching this at home, I'd fast forward by 10 seconds right now. Yeah. Whoa. The guy, Backward the head. Harvard guy. Yeah. I mean, she really can't have gone far. Oh, no. no. He's, he's going to figure it out. For sure. He sees her. Leave the room. Dude, she is a fast one. Yeah. And a quiet one. There you go. You got you gotta like close doors a lot quieter. Yeah. I mean you'd have Greg, to Greg, this isn't good. <laughs> this isn't this isn't a good plan of hers. I mean it's better than what she was doing laying there. I mean, he's obviously just going to come in. That's the long thing. That was a great reaction. Yeah. That was a great, great reaction. Now we look to the left. Ah, she gets grabbed. He's right there. He's right He's coming. He's right I'll be right back. I'll come back. Oh. Is that? That's not the blonde girl, right? This is a stepmom. No, no. In the fridge. No, no, no. It's different. That wasn't Yulia. No, no, we know. <laughs> oh, there's oh, a he trail. Sees the footprints. He 
spooky. Duck, duck lady, duck. Yeah, duck. I would have ducked. No duck, you should have ducked. You're right, you're right. I can't. I can't. <laughs> No! No! Oh. I was rooting for her. Help me! Help me out! Aww. Help me! Please don't kill me, please! I think we're past that, baby girl. Let's to check her internal temperature. You gotta try to push against that, right? That is horrifying. <laughs> I'm still hungry. Flash grenades, smoke bombs. I think he's ex-military. Could be. What about that guy? He's live streaming from somewhere in Cordage Park. What the f is that? LaBelle, let's go. I don't know. I don't know who it is. <laughs> this is really hard. It's got to be the two boy, one of the boyfriends, I guess. Right? I mean, that theory sounds a little more likely now. But that scene where they're, like, antagonistic towards each other. Maybe it's only one of them. I don't know what to tell you, Greg. We'll each take an exit. LaBelle, you take Water Street, Mayflower, I'll take Green and Union. You guys take Dalton Street. SWAT's going to flush them out. Got it? Okay, let's go. You're not a very good cop. Yeah. Be okay. Be okay. He doesn't have to be. He's McDreamy. Sexiest man alive. Straight up. Closing in on the signal. Break it in. I feel like they're at the wrong place. Is there a tech ge genius that we've been introduced to? It's like a sawtooth twist. A yeah. You find them. So that guy Scott we know is really smart, right? The nerdy. Shorter kid? Yeah, could be in on it. Monitor. Damn, he's using a new cell. Gather round. Dinner is served. Ew. Is it the, the mom? Yeah, that's the mom. That is so cruel. <laughs> At least he took our head off. She's been cooking all day. <laughs> Ew. Let's start off the dinner with a cheer <laughs> from our cheerleader. Oh, yeah, that's who the blonde was. Remember the trampoline? Yeah. So nice to all be together again on Thanksgiving. And joining us, our guest of honor, Thomas Wright, who missed last year's fun sitting in his mansion. Together again, he said. We're all going to go around the table and say what we're thankful for. Choose your words wisely, Evan. Most appropriate. His feels like, Evan's feels like his gag isn't really in his mouth. Oh, it got moved. See, it's like loose. So get ready, Evan. You're about to go viral. Oh, Evan, you deserve to die out of all them. Out of them all. <laughs> no one appreciates subtlety anymore. To go viral, you really need to hit people over the head. <laughs> Oh my god, what? There's people today, man. It's like some dark web shit. You're probably wondering why you're still alive and they were all killed. Yes. They were just greedy. But you, you're the VIPs. It wasn't enough to get in the store early. Interesting. Well, once this video goes viral, everyone will know how special you are. The ring. Too bad you Oh shit. And every year, people will watch this video and think of your greed and the people who died from it. Oh God, I'm like dying to know who this guy is. Oh my God, that is disgusting. What's she gonna do from there? Oh, she passes it to him. Take a bite of your lovely wife and show me how thankful you are. Oh, that is so disturbing. <laughs> fight, fight. Oh, fight. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like they should have planned something a little better. Oh, they don't have time to plan. Whoa. No, that was your time to kick him. Yeah. It's the car, the door, the door, the door. Go, go. 
It's the Carter house. Oh, shit. Do you think she ran? Yeah, there we go. Oh, classic. What was the emphasis on I the bush? Don't know. Maybe somebody can get tracked. Ah, get over, get over, get over. Oh no, he's over there. Oh no, no, Sho no, no, the bracelet. Uh, oh, she sprained her ankle. Oh, it could be worse. Could it, Greg? It could be worse. <laughs> she could have been dead. She could have got her hair cut off. Ooh, that cut to black. Interesting. Oh Where, no. Where'd she venture off to? Oh, she's running just fine. Oh, this is when we find out the cops are bad. Oh. Oh no, I'm what? He's pretending. They wouldn't just do my man Dempsey like that. His eyes were moving. Yeah, but he's down and clearly not the killer. <laughs> no, it's there's two killers. You think he's one of them? Yes. No, we saw I'm telling you, we saw him in that shot. <laughs> we don't know who it is. I can't figure it out at all. It's got to be the boyfriend. Of, it's got to be so one of the boyfriends. One, yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Damn, it just seems like too obvious in the beginning to do that, right? Yeah, but the tr the twist is that it's both of them. It's Bobby. It's Bobby. It's Bobby. Okay, get outside. Get outside. Get outside. Get outside. No. Just get out. Is he working with Bobby or? Yes. <laughs> He's in there. I think I shot him. No. Then I lost him. Bobby's running from him and... Now they're working together. Oh, sir. Detective Chu says you need to turn on your service weapon since it's been fired. Right. Uh, yeah, of course. No, now I'm sketched out by him. No, I think they're working together. Yeah. But then who would have been at the house? We uh, found this on the floor. Still logged into the John Carver account. Just three of them? <laughs> My head hurts. Yeah, it's the two <laughs> boyfriends I am, Patrick Dempsey. I'm sorry about Kathleen and Evan. LaBelle. Chill. See you at the hospital. We'll be there in a minute. Confess. Give up the truth. I can't just give me a minute to catch my breath and, and then we can go. I'll be right back. Something's off. You ready? Oh, the burrs that she went through the woods with. He has them on him, too. It's about the details. Small mistakes, that's how they get caught. I could really use your help, Jessica. See? Uh, that's what I was saying when he was looking for the photos mm -hmm. of the security. Jess, you okay? I'm, I'm not feeling well. We'll have a doctor check you out. They're the ones that would have the two most personal motives. Who? Him. Yeah. he clearly liked her. And Bobby. If only you'd been stuck on the fence a second longer. Oh. You should see the look of surprise on your face. What about Bobby? I had him drugged, dressed up, ready to be shot, putting an end to the mystery of John Carver's identity. Oh. You've been using me this whole time. When I said I couldn't do this without your help, I really meant it. Yeah. The other boyfriend. It's just wholly him? Why? Are you doing this? Mitch wasn't the only one who lost someone that night. My wife left me and Amanda put me back together. I loved her. She was going to leave Mitch, but then you and your friends took her from me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Greg, relax. <laughs> you took my family from me. I nailed it, Roxy. Come on, give me a break. You did. You really did. <laughs> that, well, the... I'd love to keep chatting, but now I got to okay. take care of some loose ends. She was pregnant. I, I didn't get to tell you what I was thankful for. What are you thankful for? The service in here. <laughs> that was great. That was a great line. You should see the look of surprise on oh. your face. Oh shit. That was fantastic. That, pro that probably has so many likes. Yes. Hey. Or oh. kill him first. Guys, he was like way down. Yeah, but he's still a cop. A co he's a murderer. I know, but you kill serial. a cop. They're probably scared. Jessica! Sounds just like Jessica Jones. Jessica! You know, it's funny. He's in Scream 3. Sorry, Jessica! This year, there won't be 
no leftovers. But it is, it, they did hire Patrick Dempsey, and you wonder, like, okay, why is he signing up to a slasher movie? And it's like, yeah. makes sense to be the slasher. Don't try to but I still don't understand. my guess, all right? <laughs> no, no, that's what I was thinking when you said it, but I didn't, it still just doesn't fully make sense to me. I think it, I, th I think it needs a second killer. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. No. Take it this way, go, go. No, I think I think the bo uh, their boyfriend must be involved. Yeah, he. Yeah, because they still haven't cut back to him. Make it make sense. Some of the scenes. Yeah, no, I think he has to have a second person involved. I think I think it is the boyfriend. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, sprained ankle. Plymouth Rocks. Go for a ride. Or that. Never mind. I thought he was just going to hang on. <laughs> Bobby, go! I mean, you can outrun this guy. He doesn't have a gun. You can outrun this guy. He doesn't but have also, a gun. It was, <laughs> they were live streaming. Where are the rest of the cops? Oh, the musket. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. It's coming back. That's really fun. Did you put the bracelet in there? Yeah. Hey, Sheriff, you were right. No leftovers. Woo. Some of the lines are pretty funny in this. It works with the tone. Totally. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Be safe. Tell Ryan he's still a d even if he's not the killer. ADR. But I, I don't know what Ryan's motive would be. That's the one part I can't figure out. If it is, if he has some involvement. We searched every inch of that place. Everything was incinerated. There's nothing but ash. No one could survive a blast like that. Are they telling us right now he's right there? Should always check for the body. Always check. Oh, shit. That is terrifying. I'd be sleeping with a gun under my pillow. And one on my chest. You okay? No. Sorry. Oh, it's a nightmare. Okay. I just jumped. <laughs> Classic. Oh. Uh. So many homages. Oh. All right. All right, Reject Nation. So today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's Hydration Multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial, especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because we not only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. Whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's Hydration Multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. Because sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. I'm also big on efficiency. Plus, it's packed with 11 essential vitamins, and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post-night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, I won't. So, if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code REJECTS at checkout. That's liquidiv.com, promo code REJECTS. And remember, Liquid IV. It's not a real IV. But it sure feels like it.
So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. Thrilled to be partnering with a brand I've been using for nearly two years now, and that's Harry's Razors. I'm generally more drawn to anything that goes against the norm, and Harry's does just that in the grooming world. They saw the high prices in the industry and decided to blaze their own trail with quality and affordability. I keep a beer, but whenever you see these cheeks in the neck clean, and that's the work of Harry's right there. Keeps my wife happy, and Harry's makes it effortless. They're precision blades that cut smoothly with less drag, making every shave satisfying. And yeah, Yes, it's versatile for other areas too, you know what I mean? So as a Harry's devotee, I can vouch for their value. You can experience unparalleled comfort and quality in your grooming routine where exceptional craftsmanship meets affordability, making a smart choice for a top-notch shave without breaking the bank. Their kits and value packs for shaving are unbeatable, but Harry's is not just about shaving. Again, they offer top quality, thoughtfully designed grooming products, including shampoo, conditioner, and amazing body wash without the premium price. Quality, affordability, that's a thesis of this. Now these I actually pulled right from my own bathroom. I regularly use their five blade razor with a nice weighted handle and their foaming shave gel man this dab oh it is a game changer i just like the feel of it now i have to commit to keeping this in my hand the whole time because i'm not going to go to the bathroom in the middle of shooting this the handles they feel perfectly balanced and the razor sleek design is a classy addition to my bathroom and the quality of the shave unparalleled gotta reiterate keep part of my weekly grooming ritual because their entire range of products fits seamlessly into my routine stuff no reshoots here their german engineer blades are durable and refill plans are economical rarely use the word economical but i'm using it now plus their commitment to high customer satisfaction and no risk trial makes harry's a no brainer Brainer. This gel really does feel good. Let me say once more, choosing Harry's means quality and affordability. By grabbing your $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash rejects, you're not only getting a great deal, but you're also supporting this channel. That's harrys.com slash rejects for your $3 trial set. Stay sharp and embrace the extraordinary with Harry's. Till next time, Reject Nation. Till next time. If it is just him, all him, only him, but I guess it's because they had the multiple stream set up. He must have had help from someone. I feel like a sequel would say <laughs> it's weird because for a movie that's like as ridiculous as this, that's the one part I'm like, he must have had some help, right? <laughs> he must have had like a little bit of help. Well, I get that he had like different streams set up and, you know, probably being a copy at all those resources. So that is having the help. Sure, but it just sure, seemed sure. like in that one scene where I thought we saw her look and see him in the shot and then look back, we must have just seen two other cops. And he must have been going in and out, and that, and like the same thing at the parade. Obviously, he's there, but he's in that costume. So, or is a script supervisor mistake? Hmm. Yeah. I don't think so. Yep. I blame the don't script blame supervisor. Don't blame the scripty. Blame the script Not supervisor. Nice. Or is a terrible editing mistake? Damn. Damn. Uh, um, guys, if you're listening, it's on Apple and Spotify. We just watched Thanksgiving. What? A a film that was. That was an experience. That was different than what we've been watching lately. What do you think the budget on that movie was? Dude, it was like $10 million. Watch. Get ready for it, Roxy. Thanksgiving 2023 budget. $15 million. I was close. I was really close. Um, yeah, the 84% Rotten Tomatoes score. That's really good. Yeah. That's like, especially for a slasher film, that's really high. Uh, I thought this movie, personally, personal opinion, with some criticisms, was a ton of fun. I think it's shot incredibly well. And Eli Roth, I've only seen a couple of his films. I'm not, like, the biggest Eli Roth fan in general. Um, even though I've only seen, like, a couple of movies, so maybe that's not, like, a fair thing to say. Have you seen Knock Knock Mm-mm. with Keanu Reeves? Mm-mm. He used to be like married to Honor de Armas. Who used to be Eli Roth? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Eli Roth and Honor de Armas were married? They were. It's interesting. And then they got, their boyfriend and girlfriend were married, and then they broke up, and then she became a superstar. And then she was married. Then uh, it was like, dating ben no. Affleck, and they broke up. That must be hard, you know, when you break up and then they become a superstar. <sighs> like Taylor's. I, I yeah, think tell it, that to all my exes because I'm a superstar. All right, all your exes, <laughs> take that. Yeah, your loss. Your loss, suckas. Anyway. Suckas! <laughs> yeah, I thought this movie was a lot of fun, and, and I, I love the whimsy and energy behind it. And I, I feel like oftentimes, at least with a few Eli Roth movies I've seen, that there is a bit of like a juvenile quality to the way his films are done in the scripting. And 
similar to how I sometimes say about certain Zack Snyder films, I'm like, good director, probably needs a different writer. And then r- right away, I was like, he probably did not write this movie. Uh, and then he didn't. Uh, he got there's someone else ready. He was one of the co-story creators, and and you can feel that you need that blend of someone who can just handle like the tone of Eli Roth, but someone who's better with like dialogue. And I thought like there was a good marriage between whoever this Jeff Rendell guy. I don't know who that is, but the marriage between them, I think, is a really strong partnership as writer and director, uh, because yeah, you get like the fun pulpy camp and the horror, the gore, and. Uh, the the voice like to me I was saying during the reaction the voice of the film the personality is my favorite character uh, of it all like there's a very specific kind of character because while it has homages it still feels like it's its own thing ultimately uh, I was I was impressed have some things have some criticisms have some nits to pick but Rock Stryer what do you think Rock Star Yeah I'm totally with you I thought that he did a really good job with this I think that the it's a kind of simple horror slasher movie, but in a creepy place with the theme of Thanksgiving. And the kills were unique. Like you said, there's multiple different, ki- like, oh, I didn't expect him to use the gun, the corn and the cob, the trampoline death. Like, there was a lot of thought put into just how disgusting some of these deaths were. And I think that that was the, the point of the movie, right? Like, he got as creative as he could under the premise that he made. I am curious for sure about if I was to rewatch this, it, where like knowing that it's Patrick Dempsey, if it would all make a hundred percent sense. Because when <laughs> sure. you you know yeah. like when you said it's Patrick Dempsey, I'm like, but that doesn't make sense. And then it is Patrick Dempsey, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, maybe it does make sense. And maybe I'm seeing cop uniforms in places, assuming that that's Patrick, and it's not. Um, so I'd, I'd love to rewatch this and just kind of go back and see how it all worked. But I think that that's cool. And I also think it is a good sign of a slasher film that for halfway through, you and I were like, I, I don't know who did this. Um, and I think that it would have been a much easier way out to pick one of the boyfriends. So I'm glad that they didn't do that. And, yeah, I, I liked the, the premise around the table, getting everybody around the table and True. The cooking of the body. Just disgusting. Uh, as a Plymouth girly myself... Do I wish that we had more Plymouth references? I do, the, because the Pilgrims are so, it's so creepy. P- Thanksgiving's creepy. Plymouth, there's eeriness. There's creep city to it. Uh, so I do think they captured some of it, and they could have gone even more into it. This girl, I loved. The main girl, what what did we decide her name was? Whatever it is. she. I thought she was like, however he found her, that girl's a star. She's going to be huge, I think. I think she's great. I think one thing with the horror genre is they constantly open the door for like fantastic actresses <laughs> to yes. be introduced. Like it's it's strange how it's this genre. Okay, are those two cop shots you're talking about? Yeah, as we as she That's keeps looking Patrick. out. Yeah, That's nope, neither Dempsey. of them are hit. Yeah, uh, Patrick Dempsey has. Okay, a so she sees him. She sees him walk away. And as that's not Patrick yep. Dempsey's hat, those are two different. Okay, and then just, keep going. Then just, there's the other. We're just checking to see where Roxy thought she saw him. Because for like few times she looks out and sees cops. Hold on, let's see. And then later on when she gets the text and she goes in, she needs to know where to go. We'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. No, you can do the ten second. Yeah, yeah, one point five or two. Yeah, we'll do the one point five. Do 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 do. That's right. We should just watch the movie at one point. So they were outside with him, and then he walks away, and then there's the cops that are there. Okay. I don't think we. That's the only time we see that. No, no, we see it a couple of times when she goes. She thinks about going outside when she gets the text. See, okay, there. That's not. It's Patrick. not him. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess it, went, it was so far, and you know, I'm kind of blind. I just thought that she kept looking at Patrick. I could see how it might lead the mind to believe that it is him. Yeah, that's probably what happened. But it was this scene when I started to suspect it was him. Mm-hmm. Literally, like, oh, the exact halfway point of this movie where I was like, oh, you know, a lot a lot of clues. See, okay, yep, not him again. Mm-hmm. And it was because I think for a horror movie, one of the things that, how, how a lot of these movies, uh, horror movies usually go, so I'm talking and also I was going to ask the last time you didn't see the cops. Uh, a lot of these horror movies. No, I think it's there's one more time actually maybe because she thinks about going somewhere. We'll be positive just for safety. No, but you're right. You're right. It's well, not them. It's obviously those people that we keep. Okay. The lights. Yeah. 
because what made it sus- suspicious She's to so me. ballsy to then come inside and do this when the cops are right out there. That's crazy down. It's great if no one would suspect hide in plain sight. Yeah. W- the part of it that w- made it like the most suspicious to me that it was him was because of the way this movie doesn't really have a you have a main character, but you don't really have a main character perspective that's driving the narrative of the film. Um, in what way? Well, like Scream is like very much from like you know Nev Campbell's point of view, uh, except when you cut around to someone who's about to die. You know, you usually. didn't think this was from her point of view. I mean, whenever you're in a scene with her, it is, but you cut you often cut around to like other characters. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's more and, of an ensemble. I get what you're saying. And because you never saw that with Patrick Dempsey, and it, because you never just got a scene with Patrick Dempsey outside of like when he's interacting with the main cast. That was the biggest giveaway to me that it was him. Yeah, totally. To- and- if it wasn't for the fact that I thought I had saw him outside, I would have been more on yeah. board with it. But now I guess we didn't. And then the um, in the very beginning too, when he like screams in agony at her, because it's like they really alluded to. Gina Gershon's a pretty respected actress, and they really alluded to uh, it early on that he's like into her. And so when she died and he screams in agony at the store, it was like, oh, that's an interesting note. So I thought it was going to be like more of the main character when they set it up. So yeah, they, it had it had its clues, but I, I'm with you on that's one of my nits to pick because as much as I enjoyed the violence, I enjoyed the humor. I love I love uh, like the black comedy behind it, like yeah. all, all the 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 combination of horror and tension and just like violence that is so funny because of how absurd it is of. Of like Black Friday, uh, it's like that reminds me of like a Key and Peele sketch. Those those like great Key and Peele sketches that would go real genre heavy. Uh, it, it's um, it I am with you that it would make more sense if there were two killers, <laughs> if there were like two people in on it. And I maybe for some of the timing purposes and like changing and whatever it is, but whatever we can suspend our disbelief for that. It's like not the most egregious. There's only one killer movie I've ever seen. It's. It's pretty far fetched. <laughs> it is. It is pretty far because the only thing that's really, um, the biggest suspension of, of disbelief is is um, the only thing that's really outlandish here is the is the gore. Like the gore is just very outlandish, right? Uh, other than that, the movie has a pretty grounded take. It still feels like you're in the real world for the most part. Other than like the heightened personalities of of, of the the aura that the film omits. You know? I am curious. If they had, like, how would you have felt if at the end the boyfriend had been his second in command? He would have, we would have needed an explanation. I think it would have made sense if the boyfriend, the ex boyfriend who ran away for a year, him or the other one. I think the other one, while Bobby he, or yeah, the other one, tall white boy, yeah, uh, Ryan, I think so. I mean, even though he comes across more villainous, it, it makes more sense that it's the guy who, who who ran away for a year. And the movie obviously wants to make you think that maybe it's him. And so I I, I think it I actually think it would have make it would have made it some of it make a little more more sense. But I like the I because just like why being doesn't Patrick Dempsey when our lead girl says he went inside? Why doesn't Patrick Dempsey just shoot her first? Wait, what are you talking about? The scene where she comes up and finds Patrick Dempsey on the ground. She finds Patrick Dempsey on the ground. What scene is this? In the end of the movie, <laughs> Patrick Dempsey's on the ground. Yeah. We think he's passed out. Bobby's inside. Yeah. You don't remember the scene? Yeah, he shoots Patrick Dempsey. No, <laughs> no. Wait, I've totally my <laughs> my brain cells have slowly been going downhill <laughs> over the course of us watching this movie. <laughs> the end of the movie. I, I could feel my brain just she holding escapes, on. Right. She yeah. escapes. She runs. She finds Patrick Dempsey on the ground. She finds him on the ground, Patrick, Patrick Dempsey? Dempsey. Yes. Where did she find him on the ground? What outside of the building? She Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Bobby's inside. Oh yeah, what a weird scene. I'm just thinking, like, why wouldn't he? He's like, oh, where, where'd he go? And she's like, he's inside. And he goes right after him. You would think he would just kill her first. He was trying to kill her anyway the whole time. Oh, no, no. He said, he, no, he made it very specific. He wanted her to see the ex boyfriend so that way she could pin it, she could say it was him and, and pin it on him, saying he was the killer. 
Oh, right. Yeah. So he didn't want to kill her ever. He always needed her help yeah, to I think pin it on him. At the, uh, yeah, but the, again. So he didn't want her dead. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're the, right. That's the, exactly what happened. The distance and all that, and like it's, it's extremely elaborate. Uh, and I know you're but right. But okay, if yeah. she wanted to pin it on him, then the Thanksgiving dinner, how is her being there going to help pin it on him? To make it, I don't know if he was actually going to kill her. Maybe he was going to just keep her alive as the one person. Yeah. And kill everybody else and then have her pin it on Bobby. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. That's what I mean. It's a little far-fetched, but whatever. Okay. The, yeah. the thing you show up for is like, a, it, it's a fun. Slasher Thanksgiving themed movie. Yeah. And then I like how they bring up um, elements of what really went. To, they don't really like dive into it that much. That's how I spent my Thanksgiving last year was just watching all the real life stories, like full on, like three hour documentary all about it. Like, wow, yeah, it was crazy. This is not what we celebrate at all. I don't feel right celebrating this holiday anymore. Um, but uh, they like how they at least like, it's nice to see a movie address it. Address the one, but no ags. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Indigenous people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that Eli Roth has such a good grip on his films. Like, it's like I felt that he was in control this whole time, and the cinematography looked great. The music, the performances I thought were really solid, despite um some of the accents. But that happens in every yeah. every single movie with Boston accents, um, including my girl Blake Lively. It just happens. It happens. This is a tough one for sure. Um, but I just thought that he, like, we felt in safe hands. And that's why I feel like at the end I have questions because I'm like, okay, I know he thought about these things. So let make these things make sense. Yeah. That's why I kind of feel like I like going back. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, those weren't him, you know. I have not seen the movie that put him on the map, which was Cabin Fever. The movie that really skyrocketed him was Hostel. Um, but whenever I have seen his movies, I tend to get a little bit of a headache. This is undoubtedly my favorite film of his that's great this is undoubtedly i'm like oh easily my favorite eli roth film like i i really enjoyed this a lot the and opening it, scene was crazy and and as much as it's like about thanksgiving it it is a weird movie in the sense that you could watch this almost like any time of the year like it doesn't have to be just around the holidays it could be halloween i mean like that's like the sweet For spot sure. right like the yeah. halloween thanksgiving that's a sweet spot to watch it but it doesn't feel like uh uh, it still manages to have a bit of like a holiday spirit. We hear the it, Christmas music kind of. Yeah. yeah, it's it's kind of it's smart, but it doesn't like lean in like violent. And you saw Violent Night with John, right? The Christmas mm -hmm, animal. Mm -hmm. and that's very much like this is one you watch at Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, whereas this one, I think, is perfect like at Halloween time or even a little like just fall. Once you hit fall, this is like a good good movie to watch. I want to know where this was shot. I think it was. Bo it must have been Boston. He's from Boston, right? No, the the high school. I want to know what high school. Yeah, he's from Newton. Yeah, I know you're obsessed with him. <laughs> Maybe he'll watch this, and then you can go on a I, date with him. Um, Greg, don't you understand me at all? You would not go on a date with Eli Roth. No. Put me in your movies. I don't care about dating anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Eli Roth, put her in. All the I movie. care about is my career. Have but you if not you, worked with me for long enough? But if you, I'm if not looking for a date. I'm looking dates for a the job. the people that go in his movies. Oh my God, that's a crazy thing to assume. Hire me, cast me. Um, wouldn't you just Google what? what oh, Google? there's facts. That'd be fun to read. Okay. Eli Ross said the cat in the movie was such a good actor and performed on cue that he called him Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. Oh, the cat was in Pet Cemetery. The same cat from Pet Cemetery. Ah, uh, yes, I was right about the. the Gina Gershon thing. texted him and asked, "When are you putting me in a horror movie?" Right when he was casting this, and he said, "Actually, Gina, I've got the part for you right now. If that makes sense." Oh, that's really cool. Yep. I'm well, you're not looking at the one thing I ask, so I'm going to just well, look, look it up. Look it up, Roxy. I'm looking it up. No, you're not. Lizzie is from Hanover, Massachusetts. That's cool. Who's Lizzie? I don't know. I don't. I can't find this thing you're saying. I, I, thought, I feel like it would be a fun factor. What? What do you mean it would be a fun factor? I thought I feel like it'd be a fun. Oh, Eli Roth. Watered is Down District High School in on. Where's Ontario? that? Ontario. Yeah, 
Port City, in particular, Hamilton, Ontario, makes a significant appearance in the slasher film of Port City on the western edge of Lake Ontario. Hamilton, Ontario, is home to Watertown District High School, a location that figures prominently into Thanksgiving and likely Thanksgiving, too. Yeah. Yo, yo. Yeah, the, Addison Ray DM'd Eli Roth to get a part in the movie. That makes sense. All you got to do is hit him up in his DMs, man. So it was shot in Canada. That makes more sense. Yeah, because I kept telling you it's a, it doesn't feel like Plymouth at all. Canadian stands in for small town Massachusetts. Yeah, which is totally fine. Most people are not from Plymouth. Um, Concord, Massachusetts appears in Eli Roth's Thanksgiving. Historic streets of Concord and Andover. It's pretty close to where him and I are from. Yeah, um, I had a blast in this movie. Yeah. It was very violent. <laughs> it, it delivered on the violence. Holy shit. Uh, it it kind of just kept growing. Maybe like five minutes too long. Five, ten minutes too long. The length was perfect for me. I really enjoyed I it. I'm just, I, 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 the movie made me hungry. I, just, I don't know Something why. Something wrong with you. You know, she wasn't getting like salted and basted. You weren't like, I'm a little hungry. The pepper really got me. I was like, <laughs> right? You're like, I know you're pepper. about to get like toasted lady, but... I'm in the mood for some something sweet or <laughs> for some salt. It was really the blood wine that did it for me. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'll take a sip of that. Yeah, something went really wrong with me. I started carving the leg. I was like, oh, uh, mm. maybe. It's like, <laughs> it kind of does look like. I you prefer know. dark meat, but I guess. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. That's what we're thankful for is you guys for watching this video and Eli Roth for hiring Roxy. Go ahead. And not dating me. Why? Just, not dating you? Just, like, Greg. You would be in more movies with him if you dated him. <laughs> I don't understand your, uh, your, why do you want to pimp me out to Eli Roth? Why can't I just be in his movies? Uh, Because how cool of a matchmaker would I be if I could that make would you be cool. matchmaker for love and for starring in horror movies? Mm. How cool would that be? You're trying to be my agent or what? I'm trying to be your agent and reverend <laughs> at the same time. Good. <laughs> I'm going to get it going. All right, guys. Leave it in the comments. How cute of a couple would they look? Does Eli oh Roth marry? We'll look, we'll look it up really quick. Eli Roth, <laughs> wife. Something wrong with you. Oh, uh, oh, not married anymore. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, wait. I, I recognize that girl. Lorenzo Izzo? Lorenzo Izzo? Yeah. Well, huh? no more with them. Well, that's interesting. People also search for. Oh my God! And you let Roth this to bear you. Yeah. Oh, it's a match made in <laughs> Jewish heaven. Really, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Recheck Nation. See you guys.